Okay, thank you. So water fat imaging is a technique, a special MRI technique that can be used to separate and or quantify the amount of water and fat. So here's an example of an MR image of the spine. And right now this shows both the water and the fat components. Now if we can isolate only the water component and look, this more clearly shows the pathology in this patient. Now one can also use these techniques to measure what is called the liver fat fraction. And this is a non-invasive measure of the amount of fat in the liver. And th these techniques will soon replace its believed liver biopsy, which is a very invasive method. So this is a non-invasive method which will soon replace liver biopsy as an invasive uh, measure of liver fat fraction. So these methods are becoming increasingly useful in the clinical setting. However, one of the main drawbacks is that data acquisition takes a long time. So the goal of my work has been to accelerate the data acquisition for water fat MRI. And there are many potential benefits. One of those is a reduction in motion artifacts. And this is especially prevalent in breath held cardiac and abdominal scans. If that's not an issue, other benefits include increase in volume coverage as well as an achievement of finer spatial resolution. And more clinically speaking, you, these time savings can increase clinical throughput and improve patient comfort. So the proposed approach that we have taken is just to downsample or undersample our measurement space. So we sample below the Nyquist rate, and this gives us a direct reduction in the scan time. Now the challenge is to reconstruct our unknown images from our undersampled acquisition. So we use a three-pronged approach to make this happen. We first use multi-scale cubic B splines, and this gives us a compact representation of one of our unknowns, the B0 field map. It also avoids convergence to local minima solutions. We also use the essence of compressed sensing by assuming or pre, um, by exploiting the presumed compressibility of three other images that we wish to recover, the water image, the fat image, and this R2 star map. And we also use this idea of parallel imaging. This is an MRI specific technique which exploits the distinct spatial sensitivities of a multiple receiver array. So here's an example of our results from water fat separation. This is just one 2D slice from a high resolution 3D acquisition of the thigh. And this data set took 10 minutes and 11 seconds to acquire. This one scan, which is quite long for MRI. Well, in general, it's quite long. So now if we want to accelerate it using the current clinical standard, we can drop the, the scan time down to one minute and 20 seconds, but with noticeable artifacts in the image. Now using our proposed approach, we can reduce the scan time to one minute and 12 seconds while still maintaining high image quality. Now moving on to quantitation, this is an example of the fat fraction image from a liver data set that was acquired in one 18 second breath hold. Again, if we want to reduce the scan time using the current clinical, tech, uh, the current clinical standard, a scan time reduction of about six seconds, so reducing by about a factor of three, yields an image with quite um, noticeable artifacts. And what's important here now is the measure of fat fraction. So if we look at these measurements, this is the estimated, and we're using this as a reference, you see quite a bit of difference. Now using our proposed approach, the visual quality is quite similar, and when we take these measurements, we get very similar fat fraction measurements. So we've repeated this for multiple slices over multiple subjects, and this is the estimated fat fraction versus uh, the reference fat fraction. This is now for the current clinical standard at an acceleration factor of 3.1x. And we see, you know, we would really like all of our points to be on this identity line. These are close, but not great. Using our proposed approach, we get a much better result, as reflected also by our um, linear regression analysis with the slope, the intercept, and our goodness of fit measure. And so our ongoing work involves more testing of our method, and we hope to become the new clinical standard for accelerated water fat imaging. Thank you.